Hello everyone, Samantha here. I pray all is well with you. In this video, which I think is a fun video, I'm going to be sharing some journals I've made in the past six months. Um, yeah, so this one right here in front of you, it's a binder as you can see. It's like a commonplace binder. But I'm saying journal because it's where I keep some journal information. And so I'm not going to show, um, like go in depth with all the journals. Just a quick flip through and maybe at some, um, a, 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 a quick flip through and maybe at some point an in-depth video of each journal. So this one, as you see, I put this paper here, God's Calling on Your Life. Um, I believe I got this print out from Pinterest, but what it is, is just, this is see a journal, a binder where I keep some materials. I have some post-its, some different kind of post-its, some transparent ones and some opaque ones. Then what I have are some other tabs, lots of tabs. Here is some journaling information, some post-its, large post-its, Bible notes, prayer notes with prophetic words. Let me see, put that like that. Then I made a planner. I created a planner, which I'm going to try to digitalize, but... Um, someone, um, is actually working through the planner right now to give me some feedback on it because it'll be, um, I'm going to launch it, I think on the 31st, this, the end of this month for purchase, um, online. And so, um, you see planner vision 411. Um, I have a couple of things that I'm launching that I've been working on. And so that's what I have in this journal binder. And I don't go in this every day. You see, it's kind of thick. But I like to store the planner pages that um, I have in there once I'm finished with them. So I made this. As you can see, it's very thin. And it's not... Um, edge to edge because the printer that I currently have um, I can't go borderless so I have to buy me a printer where I can go borderless so this is a planner journal I only print out um, pages that I need as I go instead of uh, printing a whole bulk um, at some point when I get my borderless printer I'll be printing out in bulk so I can make it thick for like six months um yeah but let me see I don't want to show. see this kind of belongs to and i wrote my name here and uh, pages in here that i already started using and stuff like that so so this is a planner journal and by planner journal you, i have some planning pages to plan for six months projects plan weekly and monthly and the next the latter part of the journal is a um it's a um oh those pages i didn't put in here is the journal the journal section so that'll be out soon so this right here is another <laughs> journal that i made this journal has different scripture writing plans in it. Um, this was very simple to do, you know, if you have a happy plan of punch or any kind of punch. That's for my prayer Bible. So if I'm going to journal on, let me show you. Let me just turn. Uh, strength. I have a list of scriptures to read, and um, I don't do, like, everything in one shot. Every day, I choose something, and I'll pick it out randomly, and if it's strength, I'll pull a scripture, 
and you know read it mark it pray it for example this was the one that i did this morning let me show you i did one on strength this morning and these are some prayer notes um posters that i made so yeah and then you know so yeah so that this journal is to keep the papers because um i just had them in a pack so i was like why not i just bind them together but in a way where i could keep adding and i'm actually going to be tabbing this tonight because i'm i get sick and tired of just trying to flip through it to find what i need so that this is a fun journal I haven't written in it yet. It was my first time making a a journal that I could just um sorry that I could just lay that lays flat. Um, it was my first time doing it. I use glue on to make the paper block, so I don't really like how um that worked. In terms of crinkling the paper, it just, I just don't, that is not appealing to me. But I found a better way to make a book block. So, you know, hopefully I will do it better. And, and then I also found out why the cardboard that I used from the soda box, why it warped. Because it did warp. It looks nice like this. But I don't like the warp um, look. So, and this is some material I had from a shirt. But I learned what I did wrong with this. I didn't have to put these on the corner. I had to just put them there. But with bookmaking, it's practice. You learn, you learn. This I made with my thermal cinch, which I thoroughly enjoy. Hold on one second. This is a journal that I am going to be, um, well, let me just say this. I made this with my thermal cinch using scrapbook paper. I even made this big book, this big bookmark here because I had scraps left over. And what I did was I wanted to bind this that I made, this um, prayer guide that I made. Um, for the book of Ephesians, it's praying the book of Ephesians. I also made one for the book of Jude and Psalm 139. Um, there's Psalm 139, which I'll be going through. I'm already going through this one, Ephesians, for one second. Praying through it. And I also have in here, I had decided to put in here... The book of Jude as well. So I just bound them, all three of them, in this journal. Because I want to practice using the, the thermal cinch. And I kind of like it. I mean, with the thermal cinch, when I make these journals, this is not... I will not sell this because I don't like that it doesn't lay, lay flat. But I like it for myself and for gifts. But not for selling. So, Yeah. So, and I, as you can see, I use Velcro to make the closure, but I like it. I really do like it. Okay, so then I made this. This, I'm going to show this. This one is kind of oldish. I made this back in like May. Um, the I, What I did was I bought a wallet and I simply bound two pamphlets in there that I made. I made these two. As you can see, it's old because I was using it. But I wanted to say, can I make, use a wallet to make like a, you know, a journal that I could carry with me around to take down notes real quick, like grocery lists and stuff like that on the go. I think it's kind of cute. So, then I made this using 
my cinch. Not the thermal cinch, but the regular cinch. I need to turn this around some. One second. A minute. Give me a second. Kind of. Yeah, here we go. So, prayer list. I really, really like this. This, this top part is laminated. And so, yeah, front, and this is the back of it. Front, back, and I just put plain paper in there. And I, you know, pray in here. I call it prayer list. <laughs> Same thing I wore in Jolica prayer book. Yeah, so, and I drew this. And so, doodled and color it. Then I made this for a um, creative arts journal, spiritual creative arts journal. And so, you know, like gratitude journal, that kind of fun stuff. So, let me show you. Front and back. Okay. Front and back. And you see like this. Thanks, Lord, for everything. You are good to me. So for stickers and journaling, little fun things. Like I said, creative, spiritual creative journal. And I actually have a, let me show you the, the prompt that I have for that. Ideas for a prayer journal. You see? Write a love letter to God. Write a love letter from God. Write a prayer for family or friend. Create a page with your prayer intentions. Create a page with prayer intentions for others, the world. Write about a temptation or sin you've been struggling with. Stuff. So. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So, next. Okay. This right here. This is a really quick journal I made for this. Because sometimes I don't want another bulky book, but I want to do something separate. So here's his journal, Trusting in God. So this can fit right in here. And that's how I leave it most of the time, unless I took it out to write, you know, write something. Um, and it's, it's specifically for this. Um, and I made this using washi tape to hinge it. So it's hinged using washi tape. I really like making this kind of journal. You see, and it's really, it's nothing bulky. Let me find my page again. And here, I'll put this back. Today is the 29th of October. And just write my little notes in there. And it's usually a one-liner. Like this one, why Jesus prays for his disciples. And let me go to a page right here. Like today, right, 1029, I wrote, Jesus prayed for me. I read the devotional, the scripture, the devotional. And just jot down something that I learned from the devotional. Very simple. And... Last but not least journal is the journal that I made this weekend and I finished yesterday is this, which was one of my favorite. Oh, you know what? I forgot to show the other journal. I did make another journal. Hold on, let me get it out. Wait one second. One minute. Go. One minute. One minute. Where is it? Where is it? It's right here. I haven't been working on it, but... I am going to, today, work on a little bit of it. Here's another journal that I made. This cute little journal. And this is the one I made with some different color papers, some vellum, some cards, some envelopes where I can put some stickers in. Some paper, see, the different envelopes where I can put some stickers and some ephemera, different type of pages. 
that I can do some collaging on, some writing, front, back. Yeah, so those two. So I thought it would just be fun to come on here and just share that. Um, journals. These are all the journals I made within the past six months. So sometimes you don't realize you're just making stuff and you're like, wait a minute, I'm making a bit here. So yeah, so that's it. So with that being said, I thought it would be fun to share and give some inspiration. Thanks for watching. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Later.